Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Batman the Three Jokers. It's here. I forgot to get my card. Make sure you get your card. Don't forget your card. Crap, I forgot my card. I gotta hope that they're gonna still have a card for me next week. Damn it, I can't believe I forgot my card. Anyway, uh, this is cover A. There's also cover B. I showed it in the This Week in Comics, uh, Gotham Central Comics Collectibles, right over there in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. Uh, that one has Batman in the front, but I'm going to go with the cover A, man. Like, holy crap. Dude, it's DC Black Label. <sighs> this was fantastic. This was absolutely fantastic. Let's get talking about who made this comic book. And then we'll start talking a little bit about the comic book itself. I'm mostly going to be going over emotions and some of the little details of things that happened. I'm going to try really hard not to give any spoilers. Definitely no major spoilers. That won't happen. But anyway, Jeff Johns is the writer. Jason Fabuk is the illustrator. The color artist is Brad Anderson. Rob Lay does the letters. Fabuk and Brad Anderson does the cover. And bang, bang, bang. And Mark Doyle and Ahmedo... Tortoro do the editing. Anyway, uh, Fabic says that this is to the memory of his grandfather, George Weiniger, uh, who is his hero. Uh, the Batman was actually created by Bill Fenger. So let's go. Uh, the Look, first off, just the scenery in here, the art. The, mm, mm. the panel layout is so basic, all right? It's usually nine panels per page. Sometimes there'll be eight. Sometimes there'll be six. Uh, just whatever it is, it's a very, very basic panel layout. For the most part, nothing is going to jump out of the pages at you uh, as far as the panels are concerned. Everything's inside the panels, even when something actually jumps out after you. And you're waiting for this one thing to happen. You know the, the clown fish, the joker fish, the fish that smile? Yeah. <laughs> well, there's another kind of fish that smiles in here. And I'm sitting here looking at it. I'm like, tell me he did not. Tell me he did not. Turn the page. Yep, he did. <laughs> That's as close as I'm going to get to a spoiler in this book, brah. There, the Three Jokers idea is weird. Because it's something that right away my mind wants to red flag. It wants to say, nope. Nope, there's one Joker. What are you doing? It doesn't make any sense. What are you going to mess up the whole entire storyline? What are you doing here? But at the same time, it's so damn intriguing. I'm like, you know what? Let's see what happens. <laughs> I think I'm just at that age. I'm like, you know what? Whatever. Let's let's see what happens. <laughs> it's the worst that could happen. You say DC Comics is going to end and there's only going to be digital comic books for the most part. And, and an artist is going to be in charge of the entire production. Yeah, let's see what could happen. <laughs> Um, dude, Fabric really does kill it in here. Like, like I said, while the, the panels are really very basic, the, it makes the comic book look deceptively tame. You know what I'm saying? Which is odd. I'm so not used to that. It's like so much of the classic style. Look, here's the panels. The action is happening inside the panels. But at the same time, there's crazy action happening inside the panels, and it is really detailed art. It's Fabic. It's Anderson. They're not here to clown around. They're not going to hold your hand as they cross the street. They're going to wait until the cars come, and they're going to kick you out in front and be like, hey, this is where it gets fun. But don't worry. It'll actually be in the lines. <laughs> Guys, check this out, because I was, like I said... I went into this excited, yet still a little bit hesitant, like what the hell is going to happen? What are they going to do with this? As I'm reading it each page, it's, while the story is not yet going to be explained, there's going to be three of these issues, right? While the story is not yet explained, I sat here reading this book thinking to myself that the characters are so fleshed out in this. Mind you, Jeff Johns is on this comic book also, right? Characters are so fleshed out. The three main characters in here, besides Joker, is Batman, Barbara Gordon, and Jason Todd. And I feel like we're exploring them more than we're exploring the Joker. But we're exploring them as they are defined by the Joker. That's the part that's so intriguing to me. That's the part that's blowing my mind out of proportion while still in the panel lines. I'm 
I can't get enough of this comic book. I just, just some of the pages in here. They go back and they start telling origin stories, yet it's through the eyes of the Joker. It looks so tame, doesn't it? But as you're reading it, as you're, you're absorbing the images, you know it's a whole lot more than that. Guys, I could waste your time more, or I could just tell you to go back and read the book again. Because it was seriously that good. And while we waited for how long now for, the, the, for, for this series to come out, now we're just waiting for the next two issues to come out. And who knows what this is going to lead to. It's got to lead to something, right? Mind you, Fabic said when he read this, when he read this John script, he said, this has to be the best work that I ever do for the rest of my life. So I can always, whenever somebody says, give me an example of your work, he can hand them three Jokers. Because the story was so good that he wants this to be his greatest work ever. I'm saying, I can see it. I can see the whole picture there. Anyway, guys, I'm out. I'm loving this book. I think you guys will too. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Like the video. Class dismissed.